I could have sworn I made a video on making EPUBs, eBooks, EPUB. Two years ago, I did an introduction. Is that even any good? All right, so to make an EPUB, it's actually pretty easy. Let's take a peek at our document here. So I have this document. At the top I have kind of this front matter stuff. We got percentage sign, fake book, the name of my new uh, exclusive book that I'm gonna be publishing. The author, Arthur Reader, that's me, and a copyright notice. Now you can put anything you want right here, but this is gonna kind of be in the header matter. So by default, when you're writing a book in Markdown and converting to EPUB, it looks to each H1 as a chapter break. You want a new chapter? Yeah, add a new H1. And if you know anything about Markdown, H1 is just pound, space, and your word. H2, of course, would be like subtitle, things like that. And you can add images using, again, Markdown if you want. But for this one, we're just gonna do raw text. So we have chapter one, chapter two, and chapter three, the end. That's it, oops. So let's save that up. So the magic sauce here is Pandoc. Pandoc, as I explained in my video from two years ago, is a dynamite application that is very simple, very powerful. It basically anything in, anything out, much like FFmpeg, but this is for documents. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go book input. And then this is my favorite part. We want EPUB uh, cover image. And that's gonna be our cover.png file. Then we want to output that to book.epub. And that's basically it. There's our ebook. How big is that thing? That thing's 20 kilobytes. It's just one J, uh, one PNG and some text. So XDG open book EPUB and there's our fake book. There's our information about the book. Chapter one. Oh, look at it. subtitle looks good. Chapter two. We're cooking with gas the end. You can also apply CSS, but I, I've i realized in the last few years, a lot of modern book readers kind of default their own settings. So they, they actually let the user choose the font type, font size they want, which is kind of the benefit of ebook. So I say just let it be the default. For now, this is an EPUB. So let's see what it looks like on a book reader. Okay, look at this beautiful bastard right here. There's my book. Like I said, it does its own formatting because this is a this is the last year's model ebook reader I just pre recently picked up, and uh, it's very readable. The end. So thank you for following me on this little tutorial. If you want to like grab my PNG and my tech, I'm oh, sorry, markdown file that I made for this and follow the same one kind of. I bought it a little closer. I have a link down to a git with those files in it. And uh, hopefully this gets you guys another format that you can make with free software simply and quickly. All right guys, peace.